It's Nolan. What's going on, y'all? It's the kid, Jay Nolan here. We're going to talk about this whole Jeezy and Jenny Mai situation. I haven't really talked about it on my channel because I personally felt like there wasn't enough details out there to really talk about it. I felt like it was a lot of speculation going on with them and their divorce. A lot of people initially took Jeezy's side just because you don't really see men divorce women that often. So they felt like everything had to be Jenny Mai's fault. I don't necessarily think that anyone outweighs anyone in this situation. I just feel like they were incompatible and that Jeezy felt like he felt like there was more out there for him. And he moved on like any other person could or should do in a relationship rather than string Jenny Mai along. However, since this divorce has taken place, there have been other incidents that have taken place since then, other details that have been released from both sides. So now we got a little bit of cat and mouse. Now we got a little bit of, you know, carrots, nuggets, breadcrumbs being left out there that we could choose to check out. And now we can see who kind of was at fault or at least form an educated opinion. I won't say fact, right? But an educated opinion about what really happened. Everybody was speculating that Jeezy didn't want to be with Jenny Maya anymore because of her family living in the household, which honestly, I think definitely contributed to it, right? Maybe that wasn't something that he initially signed up for. And of course, when you add that variable into your household, it might be enough just dealing with your wife. Now you got to deal with your wife and her parents who are always pretty much probably going to side with their, with your wife. Yeah, I could see that being a problem. Now, you know, there was this story of them splitting amicably. There was this story of, you know, there was still love there. They were still living in a house together amongst the divorce. Now there's a different tune coming out. OK, we had Jeezy drop the album, right? 29 song album. He did this whole rollout with Nia Long therapy session talking about black men and real niggas don't cheat. Excuse me. Now we're hearing rumors that he might have actually cheated. He's denying it. So let's get into all of the information that's been released from both parties. So Jeannie Mai has responded to Jeezy's divorce petition and she is more than insinuating he cheated on her and claims it will have a huge effect. According to legal docs obtained by TMZ, Jeannie more than insinuates her estranged husband is guilty of infidelity. Her lawyer writes, the wife reserves the right to amend this counterclaim to add other grounds for divorce, but which wife does not wish to specify here and at this time in the hope this matter can be resolved without having to disclose such conduct publicly. Meaning she's got a lot more information that she can divulge, but she would rather not have to. She wants to just come to an amicable decision without spilling out the dirty laundry. However, there is more language in it that says wife further shows that the court should enforce paragraph eight of their prenuptial agreement regarding infidelity, which provides in pertinent part that in the event that either party engages in sexual relations an emotional relationship or is emotionally or or sexually suggestive in communication with the third party via all forms of electronic communications, including but not limited to texting, sexting. FaceTiming, social media and or DMs shall result in a significant financial penalty upon the adulterous party. So that leaves a lot of middle ground to be had. So maybe he didn't have a sexual relationship with somebody, right? Maybe he just was sexually suggestive. Maybe he was flirtatious with somebody that she didn't like. Maybe he had some inappropriate DMs or text messages coming in that he wasn't necessarily putting that blocker up. You know, maybe he was giving them eyeball emojis a little bit too much on the receiving end of some shit. Maybe he didn't explicitly say, hey, man, you know, I'm married. Quit with the bullshit, man. You trying to fuck things up like, you know, women be wanting to know that you they want and only. You understand what I'm saying? They don't be wanting no type of gray area for you to be like, why you ain't say this? Why you ain't tell her that? Why you ain't get this girl up off your nuts when she was all up on them? You know what I'm saying? You pushed her back, but she still got enough room to sniff. That shit ain't cool, right? So you got to be smart in how you deal with these things, man. If you're going to commit to a woman, you got to commit, brother. It got to be, he can't be like this. You got to, nah, you can't catch the football in a relationship, man. You got to lock them bitches. All right. Let's keep it moving. In other words, she's accusing Jeezy of being unfaithful and claiming he's got to cough up a bunch of dough. As a result, the docs do not say exactly or who exactly Jeezy was allegedly banging, talking to or seeing. Jeezy is coming out and he is refuting these claims 
a thousand percent, not just a hundred, but a thou wow. All right. So now Jeezy is doubling down on his real men don't cheat comment and wants it to be known he did not cheat on Jenny Mai while they were married. A rep on his behalf denied claims made by his now estranged wife that he was unfaithful during their marriage. And they said this to us weekly. They say any claim of infidelity on Mr. Jenkins behalf are 100 percent false and we have no further statements at this time. Also, following that up, he's also accused Miss Jenny Mai of acting as a gatekeeper for their daughter. Right. So he's saying that now that they're divorced and they're going through it, filing paperwork, trying to get this thing figured out. She's now making it hard for him to see his child in his filing. He asked for a judge for a hearing to set clearly defined temporary legal and physical custody rights of their child. Reportedly, the two had initially agreed upon a visitation scheduled through the end of 2023 uh, back in September. However, he claims that the situation is becoming increasingly less feasible, right? The lack of consistency continuity and stability inherently associated with such a haphazard and fluid parenting time schedule is stressful to the child and it has as is unfortunately inevitable with all families in transition created unnecessary tension and confusion regarding not only parenting time but also in regard to each parent's role and rights with the child in their respective custody now i know this is getting real jargon field right y'all like damn why are you speaking like that well i'm reading the goddamn shit you feel me so in simplest terms, he's saying that he's not being able to access his child in a consistent manner and it's becoming not only stressful to their child, Monaco, but it's also putting stress on the families, right? Because he wants to see his child. He's got a family, you know what I mean? Wishing that they could see the child. And he's claiming that Miss Jenny Mai is making it difficult, which is adding more stress to the situation when originally it was supposed to be a smooth situation now i'm gonna be perfectly honest i don't think this is gonna get any better moving forward i feel like the mess is only at the tip of the iceberg being though that they're fighting this situation they're both in a position where they have to defend themselves on counterclaims going into the new year this shit is gonna get real fucked up because they're gonna start slinging mud and the mud ain't gonna be oh he cheated oh she keeping the child from me the gloves is gonna come off right She's probably going to start disseminating her proof, right? You can't make a claim without having proof. So if she has DMs, if she has photos, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that might start slipping through the cracks. TMZ might have it. Boss up, baller alert. You know how this shit go, man. These insider motherfuckers be having a little money to pay somebody. Somebody to hack the cloud, supposedly. You know how shit be popping up. As for Jeezy, he's been trying to defend himself the entire time. He didn't even want no information to be put out. He filed the divorce and went ahead and put his motherfucking album out. He kind of just left shit to be what it was. This nigga started popping up doing music again. Niggas should have known. When he came back outside, he was trying to get out the house. Know what I mean? Now, I'm not saying he was trying to get out the house because she was the problem. I'm just saying he was trying to get out the house because he didn't want to deal with whatever was on the other side of that door, whether it be him taking accountability for his actions or her being on his motherfucking nerves, period. Again, I think more information, more details will be put out. But as of right now, this is what we have to work with. Speaking to my lady, she said that Jeezy wasn't really the best guy in his past relationships, his past wife or, you know, mothers of his children and stuff like that. Um, I'm willing to take that into consideration. I think a lot of guys have been ain't shit in their relationships. You know what I'm saying? Let's keep it a buck. But I also feel like we can't put too much past neither one of them. And at the end of the day, regardless of what they've done, it just shows that they were incompatible. Maybe they should have never embarked upon that relationship. Maybe they should have damn sure not gotten married because it didn't last. But what, a year, two years, something like that. Just two goddamn laps around the sun. Nah, not for the big M, though. So for y'all watching. I hope y'all take these things into consideration in your own situation. Not to say that you got to look at celebrities, but just understand not to jump the gun. Make sure you got something solid. Make sure you got a real foundation set up before you actually stand in front of a group of people, in front of the Lord, in front of the deacon, in front of the goddamn everybody, in front of your kids, and be like, I do. That shit is something to take serious, and I wish more people would take that 
you know what I'm saying, with more than a grain of salt. Like, really, goddamn, if you got to spray salt around your feet, make a circle around that bit, you know what I'm saying, do a prayer, you know what I'm saying, go see some people, figure it out before you make that final decision, man. Especially if y'all, man, if y'all trying to go too fast, you normally going to crash. Ain't that right? So I don't want to place blame on any specific party until, again, more information comes out because they're both just kind of micro dosing this stuff out there because they trying to keep what they got close to the vest in case they have to really start tussling legally. But let me know what y'all think, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all are the viewers. Y'all are the ones that be knowing a little bit more than me. Sometimes y'all be having extra information I'm not privy to because some of these motherfuckers I really don't give a fuck about outside of Jeezy music. I don't know who that nigga is. You know what I mean? I don't follow him on the gram. You know what I'm saying? So y'all let me know what y'all done seen. Let me know if there's further evidence that's been overlooked and not put on the blogs. All right? I'm going to catch y'all later. Be sure to like and share this video. If this is your first time seeing me on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit the post notification bell for all updates. I will see y'all on the next one. But before we go, you know, I'm going to play that selection of uh, Jay Nolan. Let's get it. Make sure y'all support my new album, Southside Nolan, on all platforms. You can buy it on even.com. The link is in the description. Or you could get it on streaming platforms. The link is also in the description down below. All right? Let's go ahead and take us out one good time. Peace, y'all. King of my city and code sack. Coming, I swing like soldier rat. Leading my people like quarterback. Why I study this shit, I'm an almanac. Had to get up and grind. Knowledge is booming, I'm here to apply. Came with the chip and the dip, it just single the mind. We finna do more to survive. I need my check. Spinning the block for the gouda, we hitting the jeweler to flood out the net. We don't do beef on computers, I'm straight out the sewer, we come when you rest. Niggas be looking perplexed, so keeping my foot on their neck. No map, I trust my gut for the quest. With drama, I'm fully abreast. I was ready for years and they doubted me. All of a sudden, they tell me they proud of me. I've been dropping these haters like calories. Cross my mind, I came back with some battery. Stand for my honor, but you run no gunner. Packing the stick with a drummer. Wanna catch my bad one fumble? I done came too far to be humble.